Hey y'all, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick pico de gallo today. In my pico de gallo, I'm not actually gonna include any cilantro. That's not because I don't like cilantro, but because I know a lot of people don't like cilantro. So, and I wanted to actually create a pretty quick and dirty version of it. No cilantro on this one. However, you can also buy pico de gallo pre-made in the store. I often will do this, it just saves me a little bit of time when we're looking at convenience things. You can still use convenience products and eat real food, which is great. So look for things like this if you wanna save some time. This pico de gallo does in fact have cilantro in it. So there I'll get my cilantro. As I said, this one doesn't. Okay, first things first, we need some tomatoes. I'm going to just take that little top off. These are two to three tomatoes, depending on the size of your tomatoes. Now you can see, I'm not really dicing this terribly small. I don't really find there to be much need to. If you want to, you can make it even smaller still. You could even, you know, if you really wanted to, throw the pieces in a food processor and pulse everything together there and get an even finer dice. Set those aside. Next thing I'm gonna do, so I've already cut up my jalapeno and my red onion. So this is actually just one jalapeno. I say one to two jalapenos. This jalapeno ended up being kind of big, so I stuck with one. And I used my handy dandy uh, gloves when I, when I cut it up so I didn't get any of that juice or jalapeno oil on my hands. We do still need some lime juice. Use my trick. Just like you guys see me doing with lemons all the time, it works for limes too. Roll, roll, roll. I'm gonna loosen it up. My tool, favorite tool in the entire kitchen. Pretty sure I would cry if I came in and it wasn't here anymore. It smells so good. You could add the zest of the lime if you wanted to as well. Now, last thing last, a the salt. Salt is that magic thing that brings out a lot of flavor. How much salt you add is up to you. It depends on how much salt you like. I'm a fan of salt. Not too much salt. Always add more. That's the goal or that's the uh, reality with salt is you can always add more at the table. And that way you can make one dish for everybody depending on how much salt they like. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty and honestly, it's smelling so good. <laughs> so now that that's all mixed up, and pretty. And again, if you want to, you can add cilantro to it. You don't have to. I'm gonna put it in a container, store it in the fridge. If you give it a day or two, the flavors are gonna come together and it's gonna be even better, but you can eat it right there like it is. Like maybe I'll just start eating it from the bowl and make it a pico de gallo salad. <laughs> That's it for today.